Hi everybody, I am Gloria Oporto, Associate Professor at the Wood Science and Technology Department at West Virginia University. I prepared this presentation together with my colleague and friend, Dr. Joseph Magnil. This is not a technical presentation. I believe this is more relevant than any technical presentation that I have been presenting in the past. This presentation is related to education in wood science and technology. The bachelor degree in wood science and technology is one of the five programs in the Division of Forestry and Natural Resources at West Virginia University. Our program is one of the oldest programs at WVU. It started in the late 40s or beginning the 50s. 100% of our graduates are getting a job immediately after graduation. Some of them receive offers even a year before graduation. Salaries can range between 45,000 to 55,000 US dollars per year, but depending on the specific responsibilities and experience, can be as much as 90,000 in the first couple of years. So, good job placement, good salary range to start, but the Wood Science and Technology program at West Virginia University continues to struggle with low enrollment and scrutiny from university administrators hoping to expand programs. In this slide, you can see the trend in terms of student enrollment in our program for the last 30 years. Before 2013, we have one faculty member somehow dedicated to recruit the students. After that, None of us has been doing much in that regard, until a year ago. Reasons for low enrollment can be many. I have summarized some of them here, but I am not going to focus on them right now. I prefer to focus in the opportunities and actions that we have been taking. There are many opportunities in the field of wood science that are more and more often being presented in different social media. One of them that attract my attention is the one published in The Economist newspaper at the beginning of this year. In the real world, it would help reduce pollution and slow global warming if more builders imitate the wood-loving second pig. So what are we doing? currently to attract the students to our program. Here there is a general list that I will complement with some pictures. One activity that we are doing is reinforcing synergies with specific departments at WVU, such as civil engineering, chemical engineering, interior design, and landscape architecture. Another one is interacting more frequently with our supporting wood-related industry. We are also inviting some of these companies' representatives to perform some technical presentations to our students. We are also promoting students' hands-on projects. They love it. Here we are presenting one example of the last capstone project building a tiny house. Here, some more work in our wood laboratories. We are performing field trips. We are promoting their participation in conferences. And we are just having fun with them while they are here with us. So let me finalize with some insights regarding to our near future. We will have a new faculty member joining our program soon. Six freshmen and one student with a double major in wood science are starting this coming fall. We will propose some curriculum changes. We expect more effective synergies with other programs at WVU. We will continue having a close interaction with wood-related companies and associations. We will promote an effective international collaboration. 
we will be promoting wood science at different levels of education. And most importantly, we will be doing more than just talking. We expect to continue increasing the number of our wood science and technology students in the years to come. Thank you very much for your attention and help us to promote this area. Ciao.